Again, this is kind of awkward given who Edelgard is. Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Sir. Last time, two. we helped Claude Andrew in the Alliance and he gave Lucy us the Mo. hero's bow. The impregnable fortress. I'm pretty sure, what's his name, Byleth can make use when of the heroes, all the hero's leader, relics the because he Alliance is the hero, or well, she is the hero, depending on who you choose. fealty to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The chaos in the kingdom begins to dissipate as the people unite under Dimitri's rule. Riding this momentum, the kingdom army prepares to march south for a decisive battle against imperial forces. About that. We will finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire kingdom. In addition, ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Affairs within the kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, if we're going to march from the Monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murden again, right? Yes, I believe so. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. After the bridge, we can cross Grander Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, a so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. An impregnable fortress. Fort Mercius? I know of it. They say it rivals even Aryan Road. Count Burglies, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. Can we really prevail? It is unlike you to worry so. But I feel we have no choice but to strip that place of its impregnable reputation. I agree. take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. Men fight their hardest when their backs are to the wall. This isn't going to be an easy fight, Dimitri. In other words, if we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. I just received a report on that very subject. The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. It is the Death Knight who awaits us there. It's finally time to finish him and see who he really is. A sword tournament. Okay. Well, you know what? I've got four weeks to do that. Let's rest. And that's why. Automatically. And it adds up to S! Oh, that Yay! Black magic range plus one. Professor, could you explain? What's your problem? I haven't been able to see my brother and sister lately, so I'm sending them gifts. My brother's not one to ask for anything, though. I don't know what to give him. You could always send him some books. Ah, oh, I see it now. I'd say money, but that's kind of impersonal. My parents gave me money for my birthday, but I'm fine with that. 
Ahem! Ugh! It'll be fun. This will go. Here is the... Some new insight. Uh, yes. It's a holy day. Should pay respects. I hope this song reaches the goddess's ears. This is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. Lo! Get it? Lo! It's Flame's birthday. I'll give you some flowers. Seminar. On the bow and axe, sure. There is still more to learn. I'll do what I must. Huh, making use of the bow to do. Some Interesting. Technique never betrays. Let's do some manual instruction just to get the traits I want up. Where's Ash? There you are. I can do two sessions. Your lance and riding need some work. Heavy armor to do. It's still weird you have a budding talent for magic. It's weird. Hey, that was... I'm really good. I'm not done instructing people. Mercedes, we're gonna work more on your bow. Now it about you, Dedu? Anything you have any budding talents? No? War. Answer. No need for print. Sure, one more, why not? I appreciate. I'll do what. Stable duty for Ash and Ingrid, sure. Always. 
Do you have a moment, Professor? I need to speak with you. I always have a moment Thank for you. Thank you so much. Hell, I give you two minutes. Two and a half! This letter from my adoptive father just arrived. Oh, have I not mentioned him? He's the reason I first came to the Officer's Academy. He's also the one who dragged me from the church where I was living, just so he could use my crest. I don't understand. My crest does not yet belong to a house, so he plans to use it as leverage to marry into the nobility. He's a very greedy man who was a roving merchant before adopting me, but now he's in the capital. This letter says that he's finally arranged to marry me off to a wealthy noble. <sighs> I know he's just thinking of himself, but can't he see that this isn't a priority when we're at war? My thoughts exactly. Uh. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what to do with this proposal. Will you accept? I can't see any way around it. So I fear that I must. I just don't want to let go of the life that I've made for myself. I know it's not what my heart wants, but I don't have the strength to say no. What does your heart want? So a certain redhead, I perhaps? I've mentioned this before, but I want to work in service of the church. Well, I suppose it doesn't necessarily have to be the church, but I want to help those in need. If I were to marry a noble, I think it would be difficult to realize that dream. Why can't you decline, then? It's just... I've always allowed myself to follow the whims of those above me. I convinced myself that everything in life was at the will of the goddess. I was blind to reality. I believed it was her will to both pull me from the church and guide me to the officer's academy. The decision to enter this war was the first time I acted of my own free will. My adoptive father opposed this decision, but I somehow managed to convince him. Still, I couldn't free myself of him completely. This letter is proof of that. It's not that I'm scared of him, but there is something that worries me. Ah! I knew you'd understand, Professor. I've sat down to write a reply several times, but I can't muster up the courage or the words. Yes. I was hoping okay. you could provide me with the encouragement I need. You can't just give up on your dreams. That's a very good point. We're only given one life, so we must do all we can to pursue our happiness. Okay. I think that may have been just the push I was looking for. Tell him the truth. That I found a life worth pursuing, and I must decline the proposal. Maybe I should tell him I've fallen for someone else. <laughs> Perhaps a certain redhead? And who might that be? Why, it's you, Professor. Isn't that obvious? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Now I'm off to write this letter and stand my ground. Thank you for your encouragement. Uh, sure, to do. Just gardening away, it seems. Here you are again. I came to check on the flowers. I see. The flowers you helped to water are in bloom now. Have a look. Indeed. You're a man My of few was words. Fond of this one in particular. I didn't know he had a sister. Where is she now? Dead. Of course. Dusker is a dead land. 
Its flowers were all trampled under the boots of soldiers. But seeing this blossom brings back memories. I do not know why I am telling you all of this. You're unusually talkative today. I like it. It surprises me as well. But if you are from Fodlan, you must know what became of the people of Dusker. The people who betrayed their allies from Fargus. The ones who were punished for regicide. The Dusker are shunned for their crimes, even now. It would be in your interest not to spend any more time around me than necessary. Well, Dimitri doesn't shun you, and I don't really care what other people think. I'll spend my time however I wish. You may think little of it now, but your reputation will eventually suffer. Don't but, care. To be completely candid, it pleases me to be able to speak with you like this. If you truly do not mind, I would be glad to receive more visits from you in the future. I'm trying to wrap this episode up. For the two of us? Yes. We did. How best to use this skill? There is always more to learn. Check my certifications real quick to see if I can't make Sylvain his great knight. I think I can. Heavy armor needs to be A or higher. You'll get there. Oh, an exam seal. Come on, buddy. You can do it. No big deal, really. Another seminar. Mercedes to learn some magic. This experience is critical. Well worth the effort. Automatically. I'm finding my focus. Come on, game. You can do it. Load up. Pretty good. I understand. Practice is... Alright, let's just do another seminar. My proficiency has imp I suppose it's working. Some new insight. Technique never betrays. And I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I... I didn't do the sword tournament. Oh well! Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I... 
do the mission. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.